has long called for action on rail safety, including informing municipalities of dangerous goods being transported and implementing a dozen outstanding safety board recommendations. Three months have passed since the tragic Lake Megantic disaster, and yet the throne speech only contained vague commitments. And testing crude oil and putting them back in the same old dangerous rail cars won't improve rail safety. So my question to the minister is simple. When will she face out these dangerous, outdated tanker cars, Dart 111, when will she get it done? First of all, since it's been brought up in the House, we have to reiterate again that our thoughts and prayers with the families of those, of those 47 victims from the incident in Lac Megantic. And we think about them every day when we're talking about rail safety. Since that time, Mr. Speaker, I have talked to rail companies, to the municipalities, and indeed to other stakeholders with respect to the transportation of dangerous goods. We've heard from the TSB as well. That's why I'm happy, Mr. Speaker, to indicate today at effective today, I've asked the Department of Transport to issue a protective directive that will ensure that all crude oil being transported be properly tested, classified, and the results sent to transport. Honourable Member for La Salle La Prairie, Mr. Speaker, putting oil into those old tanker cars won't solve any safety problems. Three months have passed since the tragedy in Lac Mégantic, and all of the government has done is to put temporary measures in place. When will municipalities finally have information on the hazardous materials crossing their territory? And what precisely are the targeted measures that the government intends to put forward to inform these municipalities? The Honourable Minister of Transport. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. We have a very good and constructive working relationship with the Federation of Canadian Municipalities and the Railways on this issue. We all agree that first responders need to have the information that is important to them with respect to ensuring that they can respond to incidents that may happen. And as such, I encourage both the Federation of Canadian Municipalities to continue to work with us and with the rail companies to get to a resolution in the matter. Honourable Member for Brome, Missisquai. 80 MMA tank cars are immobilized on the rails in Farnham without being uh, overseen and they're close to a crowded yard. These cars contain the same type of oil as those in the Lac Mégantic tragedy. The Conservatives talked about targeted measures for railway safety, but the cars in Farnham are pretty targeted. What is the Minister of Transport waiting for to have these cars moved quickly and safely? Honourable Minister of Transport. I share the concern of the member opposite with respect to this matter. The reality is these cars have to be moved safely. At this point in time, Mr. Speaker, Transport Canada has indicated these cars cannot move at this point in time. We want to ensure that they can be safely moved. They are working with MMA with respect to obtaining the appropriate permissions they need for them to be moved. And when they have those, we expect MMA to move them out. Right on.